Hi, it's Andy with West Valley 411. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to fix a clogged print head in an HP OfficeJet Pro 8600 Plus. My printer is 10 years old, and the quality of the uh, images that it prints is really poor. And you can see when you print a printer status report, you can see that there are streaks in the cyan. There's no output from the magenta. And at the bottom there, um, I'm getting pretty good results in all shades of black and gray. And the text is fine, but the um, images are really poor. So here is the printer status report. And you can see here, um, the output, as I mentioned in the colors noted, is not that good. So the first thing that you should always do is go to your tools function here on the screen. First go to setup, then go to tools, and you would touch uh, clean print head. You can do a second cleaning. I did several and the results were still not very good. So. We are going to leave the unit powered on. We're going to open the door here on the left. And as the print head slides over, we're going to take out the ink cartridges. And then we are going to soak it overnight just in water. I've got Tupperware here. Um, it's got a paper towel at the bottom to soak up some ink. We're going to just put water in it. And then we are going to flush the print head gently and improve the output from the print head. So we will be using a water pick. We'll attach it to each of the uh, ports and under low pressure, clean it up. If this is unsuccessful, we're going to walk over to the fourth floor window, open it up and throw the printer out and we're going to go buy a laser printer. So let's see if this works. All right, first you're going to press each of the cartridges to remove them. I haven't always used genuine HP cartridges because they're expensive. I got the refills. There's a latch here in the back. You're going to lift it up. That will release the cartridge. And you can see here at, at the bottom, this is your print head. There are very small little nozzles there at the bottom that ink gets squirted out. And that's what we are going to let soak. So it's just kind of like, uh, you know, when you have a, a, a scab on your hand and it gets uh, wet because you've got it in water for an extended period of time, scab really loosens up. So that's kind of the idea. Ink is water soluble and we are going to uh, try to flush this out. You can see at the bottom here are the various um, ports that receive ink from the cartridges. And so this is the first portion. We're just going to put it face down and you can see there's a little bit of cyan, black, and no magenta. So surprise, surprise. Um, so we'll let that soak. We're going to take it out to a sink and we'll come back tomorrow. All right, before we add about an eighth of an inch of water to the bottom of this Tupperware, I just wanted to show you the paper towel is really drawing quite a bit of ink out from the bottom of the uh, print head here and um, obviously mixing the colors. So there's reservoirs that um, coordinate to each of the colors and there are some uh, chips and electronics here on the uh, front of the print head. So we're going to be careful not to get those wet. So we'll go ahead and, and put this uh, into some water. I did, I, I joked about throwing the printer out the window, but honestly, 
if you get a knockoff print head for, for 50 bucks or you get genuine HP parts for 150, um, that could also do the job. So this printer was uh, retailed 10 years ago for 249. I got it on sale at uh, either Best Buy or Costco. I think Costco for 179. So that's that's pretty good use uh, over 10 years. And if this doesn't work, I'm just converting to laser. All right, here is part two, getting set up in the sink. I took the uh, top cover here off the top of the print head. There are four Torx screws there that we took out, T-O-R-X. It's kind of shaped like a star. Here's the bit that I used if you don't have uh, Torx screwdrivers. And this water looks a lot creamier than it actually is. I've changed the water a couple of times. So up above, we have our water pick strategically placed. It's got a dial on the side with 10 different settings. Setting 10 is way too powerful. You got to go down. Looks like we're set up on... Uh, Oh, about three, two, three or so. We'll adjust that. I've got an additional tube connected to the tip of the water pick. Now we might lose some pressure when that gets when this gets attached to the uh, ports, but we'll give it a try and adjust as needed. We'll be able to see water coming out of that print head on the bottom. I'll remove that Tupperware and it'll go right down the drain. So this. Uh, let me just show you, gently taking the print head off. Um, this is all water soluble, I think. Just gonna go right down the drain there. So we'll take care of that, get the camera set up and get started. All right, this water pick is loud. It gets louder as you turn up the pressure, but let's turn it on. You may not be able to hear me talking, but we'll see how much water comes out. We'll press it up against the port and go from there. Okay, that's probably not, not enough pressure. We're gonna turn it up just a little bit. Do black first. Okay, we have all that ink in the reservoir coming out. As you can, as my seal gets tighter, you can see more ink coming out. But we don't want to blow it out. Okay, let's go through each of them first. I can see some yellow coming out. Let's try some cyan. Yeah, we're getting some cyan. Okay, now magenta. Come on, baby. Ooh, nothing. It's struggling. It's struggling to push anything through there. You can hear that back pressure. Those magenta... Uh, holes on the print head may be too far clogged. Okay, we're just cycling through each of the colors. Looks like the reservoirs are pretty clear. All right, first portion of the clearing was successful. I really think we just got a lot of ink out of the reservoir. I don't know if we opened up any of the uh, 
holes on the print head for the ink to come through. Um, I cleaned up the sink a little bit. As you can see, um, a little bit of uh, ink on my hand, so you'll get some staining. Don't try this in the kitchen sink. Do it outside. Um, I'm going to take this tube off of the water pick um, and turn the pressure up a little bit um, just to see if we can force a little bit more water through those ports. My guess is it's a little bit better. Um, it's still a good black and white printer, but I don't think we're going to get any magenta out. It's just too clogged, too dried, um, probably too much of a section that needs to be pushed through. So um, we'll give it another try and see what happens. But I'm not going to put that on the video because it just makes it too long. So if I have a successful result, I'll show you. All right, let's do a little post-mortem on this printhead enema. As you can see from this close-up, the black reservoir, for the most part, is all clear. The yellow, mostly clear, and the, the cyan, the blue, is in pretty good shape. But if you look over at the port on the magenta, it's all clogged. It looks like there's dried ink inside. And not that you can see on the bottom of the printhead, but nothing was coming out. There was no red color at all really coming out. So that thing is clogged and there's no way to fix that. There's no parts. Uh, but what we're going to do is put it back together, fill those reservoirs up with ink from the ink cartridges. We'll do a printout and let's see if there's any improvement. All right, here are the results of our printhead cleaning. This is before. Pretty decent black and white printer. And here's after. Oop, looks like we got some gaps. No improvement in any of the printhead ports. First level cleaning. Second level, a little bit better. Third level, a little bit better. Maybe it'll continue to improve. There's still... Uh, sections of that print head that aren't doing any better and here is the continued gaps in the other colors in fact i would venture to say eh, there's a couple areas that might be better certainly the uh, black and gray isn't any better here are the fourth fifth sixth and seventh level cleanings and I'm really happy that the black text has continued to improve um, till we have just about full print head quality back. A couple more cycles it'll probably be back to where it was before we did the print head enema cleaning. So that's that's good news. Um, we didn't make it any worse. <laughs> There's probably still some water in uh, some of the ports, and as it gets flushed out, it looks like um, we'll be back to where we were before. So here is the message on the printer. Check the quality. Oh, it just disappeared. But basically... Uh, it's time to buy a new print head. So it's possible that if we used some other kind of solution, it might help. But I, I just don't think um, there's no magenta at all in any of these uh, results. It's completely clogged off. There's no way to resuscitate that. So it looks like we're going to walk over to the fourth floor and open the window. Um, this printer has given me 10 years and most... IT professionals would probably say it's past its uh, useful life, and um, it's given us thousands of pages of really, really good um, print images and text, so I think it's just time to retire.